My name is Anthony Carrigan. I'm a lecturer in English at Kiel University in the UK and I'm also a fellow of the Rachel Carson Centre here in Munich. My research topic is part of the Natural Disasters and Cultures of Risk cluster here at the centre um, and the title of the project is Representing Postcolonial Disaster, Conflict, Consumption and Reconstruction. In terms of the, the present moment, we've got a situation where partly to do with human-induced climate change, you've got a situation where the number of disasters worldwide is massively increasing. Okay, and again, these often have the biggest effect um, on the poorest communities and the poorest states worldwide. Often the, the worst effects are in, in those kind of contexts and regions. Um, you've also got a case where globalization, um, uneven processes of decolonization and often neo-colonial exploitation means that lots of risks, lots of hazards are produced as disasters or realized as disasters, um, again, in, in, in contexts, in, in non-Western contexts, um, where poverty is rife, where underdevelopment is a serious problem. Um, and you could argue that economic globalization is also absolutely central to the production of disasters. It's partly a cause of, of climatic change, which is feeding into the increase of climate-related disasters, but it's also um, help, you know, exacerbating social disasters as well, um, like wars, um, like ongoing chronic poverty. Um, so we're in a situation where you know, disaster is actually an everyday experience in a lot of different post-colonial contexts. Colonialism itself, you know, in, in its broadest terms, is a, you know, this global catastrophe of huge historical and, and, uh, and environmental and, and social proportions. So again, it's a case of thinking, well, how do you deal with something so big as that, so disastrous, in relation to these more specific instances that happen with increasing frequency um, in this era of economic globalization, uh, neo-colonial exploitation, um, and uneven decolonization. The main aims of the project um, are firstly to engage with disaster studies and think about how that might have an effect on the way in which we read literary representation. Um, one of the things I'm interested in is the way in which disasters kind of ask writers to make formal and generic um, innovations in their work. So how does, dis how does disaster kind of change the form and the language of specific texts? Um, and how might that relate to the way that we understand disaster in relation to some of these key concepts in, in disaster studies? Um, kind of linked to this, the second aim is really asking, is there anything that these kind of literary um, representations and analyses can contribute to disaster studies itself? Um, certainly, in, when you think about issues of vulnerability, when you think about uh, class, race, ethnicity, religion, things that are culturally specific, Postcolonial texts um, have a wealth of, of, uh, of information that you can glean from this and which you could um, apply to areas of, of disaster studies that kind of conventionally haven't dealt with this in as much depth as, as they might need to. So there's a kind of meeting point between the imaginative and the empirical that I'm really interested in, in opening up in the project.